Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Strength and Balance. I'm Diane, and we'll be working all muscle groups with weights and a segment on balance. So uh, grab a one to three pound weight, or just use a couple of cans of soup if you don't have weights. You're perfectly okay without any weights at all doing these exercises. You're still going to gain strength from them. So let me get up to the stage and we'll start our warm up. arms and curl in. One, 
from the waist, come up, pull in, two, keep the stomach pulled in against the back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Third, third set, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, bicep curls up and over. In, over. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's try second set. Lift, lift the hands, bring it in, flip the hands over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Third set, flip, bring it in, turn it over, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, <laughs> ten. All right, seesaw arms. So you're going to bend forward from the waist, pull the stomach in against the spine, weights in front. You're going to pull one back, take one forward. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, do as many of these as you can. You don't have to go for all three sets. Work up gradually. Ready? Again, come forward from the waist. Prepare. Push forward, one back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Third set. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, just kind of roll those shoulders out anytime you need to. Now we will do the deltoid lifts. the elbows in together. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Rest a second. All right, this time we're going to place one foot back. Lift and squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
can switch feet. We're going to add a lunge this time, or a dropping of the knee, backward reverse lunge. Lift and lower, or eliminate it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the foot into center position. <coughs> Relax those knees, take the arms up, bring it in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Right, excuse just a moment. We will resume in a second. So get yourself some water. I will be right back. We'll resume with the second set of triceps. Take the arms back and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Set. One, two, three, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, set a poach your egg perfectly every single Nine. time. First, crack your egg on toasted so the Ten. lower parts of the egg whites are And take the arms off. And then One, two, water, two the three, vinegar, four, stir, five, and six, then seven,
Good. One weight down, and you can hang on to the chair um, if you want. We're going to lift the inside leg. Elbow is going to cross over to that knee. You're going to open back straight out to the side and down. Ready? One. Open. Two. Three. Four. other side of the chair. Inside leg gets lifted. Hold it up here. You're going to bring the elbow into the knee as you twist and exhale and bring it back to center. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, second set. The inside leg closest to the chair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch sides, inside leg lifts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Third set. Lift, prepare, twist, exhale, open out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. One last time on the other side. We'll have those three sets completed. Lift. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now another one. We're going to open up in the shoulder area with this one. We're going to take one leg out to the side. This knee is slightly bent. Hang on to the chair top or arm. You're going to bend down to the opposite foot. Take it in, open back out, and center. Two. Make sure that elbow is into the ribs. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, 
other side. Take one leg out to the side. This knee is bent. Hand on the chair. Bend down to the opposite foot. Bring it in, elbow into the ribs. Open and close. Two. Be sure to straighten up here before you open that hand to the side. Four. Keep the stomach pulled in against the spine. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Second set. Leg out. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Stomach and shoulder. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting both stomach and shoulder. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, straighten up, eight, nine, ten. Last set, set number three, take the leg out, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we are moving on to balance, so make sure that your weights are out of the way. You don't want to be tripping on any of them. Have your chair ready. We're going to sit and we're going to review the different sits and stands that create balance that we did last week. Now, um, for those of you that are 
uh, exceptionally weak in the quads, I suggest starting with the feet apart and pressing up into it and then sitting back down. For those of you that have more strength, we place the feet together, interlace the fingers in front, push forward, stand, and sit. And two, this is also good for the stomach. Three, four, Seven, eight, and sit. All right, we're going to go eights with these on the reviews. We turn slightly to the side. You place the left foot in front of the right. Now, this one's harder to do because you are going to have all of your weight on that quad where the foot is pulled back. So you may want to assist yourself with the chair in standing. Ready, push forward first, pull the stomach in, and one, and sit. Two, three, four, Seven, eight. Now turn to the opposite side. Place the right foot ahead of the left. Again, assist yourself with the hand if you need to. Interlace, bend forward. One, sit. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, very good. You'll see that the more you do this each week, the more facility you're going to get with balance and strength in the quads. All right, so as we know, balance is comprised of moving in all directions. So a lot of people say, well, I walk all the time. Why is my balance so bad? Because you are moving just in the sagittal plane straight ahead. You are not moving your head. You're not switching directions. So we're going to practice a little bit with walking forward and walking back. And then we're going to do some things that move side to side. All right, so you can hang on to the chair if you need to. We're going to place one heel against the toe, shift the weight forward, bring the other foot forward, heel against the toe, and pull the stomach in. Three, shift, four, shift it front, five, six. Now we're going to go back. So if you're using one hand on the chair, you're only probably going to get three or four in each direction, but that's okay. All right, take the toe to the heel back, pull that tummy in. Tongue against the roof of the mouth. Two, shift the weight back. Three, shift back. Four, five, six. And bring it back center. Now we are going to walk in a circle. So you can do this hanging on to the chair. 
Ready? One foot ahead of the other. Shift the weight. Two. All right, now start turning. Three. Heel against the toe. Four. Five. Six. If you feel wobbly, reach out for the chair. Pull that stomach in. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Be sure to shift the weight each time. Shift it forward before you bring the leg through. I lost count. That's okay. And back to center position. Let's try that, reversing the circle. So again, you can hang on. All right, ready, heel against the toe, shift the weight forward, bring the back leg into the front, shift, tummy in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and turn back to center position. All right, so we have gone forward and back. We've taken around in a circle and reversing the circle. And now we are going to take this to the side. So what we are going to do, we're going to do this in stages. And we will continue this particular exercise next week. The first part of it is you will take the inside leg closest to the chair. You cross it over the other and bring the other one to the side and then take that leg, cross it over, and center. Over, center, take that leg, over, center, over, center. Now we're going to go back with that. Take this leg back, center position, back, center position, back, center position, back, center position. If you want to make it a little harder, we're going to do that whole set again. You can hold the arms out to the side, feet together, ready, cross, shift the weight forward, Bring the leg to the side. Take this leg, cross over, shift the weight. See, balance has a lot to do with weight shifts. People want to stay in one particular spot and think that's going to do it. It doesn't. You've got to shift your weight. So that's what we're learning here. We cross over, you shift the weight to the front before you pull that leg out to the side. You cross. Shift the weight forward, take it out to the side. All right, now we're gonna take that leg back, back, shift the weight to the back heel, then take the leg to the side. Take the leg back, shift the weight to the back heel, take the leg to the side. Shift and side, shift back, and side, one more, back, and side. All right, so next week we are going to add on to that particular one. Um, you can stay in this mode for a long time till you grab your balance. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. We are going to stand with feet close together, practicing balance. 
Bend, inhale up, and Om Shanti. And uh, let me remind you, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, we will have flexibility, and then at 10.45, cardio fun. I hope you can join us for both classes, but thank you so much for tuning in today. Have a great day.